In today's episode, how to get more visibility at work, so stay tuned. Welcome back to my show where high achievers get promoted, get productive, and get the corner office. Make sure you like and subscribe to this episode because every Wednesday I have a career accelerating episode heading your way. So in today's episode, we're talking about how to get more visibility at work. Specifically, we're gonna break down five key strategies that you can put to use immediately following this video. In my podcast, The CEO Sessions, I interviewed former Honeywell chair, David Cody, and he revealed that advancement requires both performance and visibility. That's right. If you wanna to get to the corner office, if you wanna accelerate your career, yes, performance is essential, but it's not enough. You also gotta have a dose of visibility. And he had so many workers working so hard, so many high achievers really working hard each and every day, don't actually get promoted to the corner office. They don't actually get promoted in their career. They kind of slowly plot along. And even they get gradual advancements, but quick advancements, quick acceleration requires visibility. If you go listen to this episode, with, with David Cody that I did. He actually explains his interaction with former CEO of GE, Jack Welch. And one of the keys in this story, and I won't go through all the details right now in that story, but essentially David started out as an hourly employee at GE and through different aspects of the story, yes, he performed along the way, but he was able to identify a path of visibility where he popped up on the radar of Jack Welch and this ultimately accelerated his career and allowed him to achieve the C-suite in not one but multiple organizations. So let's break down a couple of different aspects when it comes to visibility, how you can actually do this to get promoted, get more impact on those projects. I mean, you're actually working on these projects, so doesn't it make sense that you're actually gonna make an impact and people are gonna know about it? And when people know about your project, they know about the positive momentum that you're generating, people can get behind it. When they know, when they know the mission that you're on, they'll support it. The key is to get visibility on those projects and your contributions so they can help provide more momentum. Ultimately, the good news is when you increase your visibility, there's more opportunities, there's more promotion possibilities, and there's certainly more impact because people can get behind someone, they can get behind your mission when they simply just know about it. Too many people and too many high achievers essentially downplay or don't talk about their greatest achievements at work unless the world doesn't know about it and they can't get behind it. So the key is let's give a little bit more dose of strategic and visibility to your greatest achievements and watch your career accelerate. Number one is to clarify what a great job looks like and do it. In so many organizations, people are working for work's sake, and maybe they're going too far or maybe not going far enough because they haven't really clarified what the senior leadership's idea of a good job is. What is that standard that you're being held to? And then how can you go beyond it, right? Those are the questions to be asking yourself. So go to your leadership, go to your manager, clarify, hey, if I do a great job on this project, what does that great job look like? Then go beyond it. That alone will help you set your sights on where the target is and not just shooting blindly, right? We've talked about, if you can clear, like, imagine an archer in a field and you're, and you're aiming for this specific target, but you don't know where the target is. So you're just firing arrows left and right. Instead, find out where the target is, get it clear, bring it close and just fire away at it. Instead of working for work's sake, clarify what success looks like, what the expectations are, what the true standard of excellence is in your organization, and then go two steps beyond. Number two is to solve a problem plaguing the office. Now this may be something that's not really in your purview right now, but maybe it's something that you've heard managers or senior leadership complaining about. For me years ago, my boss was talking a lot about how our team was not getting full closure on projects. In other words, the projects were extending beyond the deadline, and then they would just kind of drag on for months beyond that, and that was costing the company. So what I proposed was a project that I would construct a four-part module training to help the team get closure on their projects. So this was all around helping them outline the projects more effectively and manage and set and achieve those deadlines much more effectively. And turns out going that extra mile was a big problem that was plaguing the office. And that ended up, and I ended up being recommended to other groups to do similar workshops. And this helped me get visibility the right way, doing work I love to do with helping, coaching, and training other people and their teams. 
and this accelerated my success and my progress and direction that was very positive. So what is the big problem that's plaguing the office? If you're not sure, just listen a little bit at happy hour or around the water cooler, around the coffee pot, and you will hear complaining. And that, my friends, can be a place of opportunity to boost your visibility. Number three is to quantify the impact and then present it. So many times we're doing work throughout our day, but we're not taking a few minutes to actually quantify the impact. How is it? impact earnings? How does it impact the budget, the PL? What does it matter? Quantify the impact of the work you're doing and then that number can go to senior leaders and be communicated more effectively because yes, you can communicate the story behind what you're doing and how you did it, but if you can quantify the big bottom line impact, that is an easy way to get more visibility for your work and contribution for you and your team. Number four is to proactively request an assignment to a big high profile project. Yes, we can get more visibility for the work we're doing, but why not start working and make an impact on those projects that are already high visibility? Now you may be saying to yourself, Ben, that is high risk. Why would I want to attach my name to a big project? Well, if you're attaching your name to a bigger project, you're contributing to that, your name will naturally get more visibility that way. Now you'll also be saying, well, Ben, how do I get involved in a big project? Well, make the business case, right? Maybe you have a certain skill set or strength or even interest or enthusiasm or relationships or experience with a small part of that project. And that's a great way to offer to volunteer your extra time and effort to assist with that project and support it. And thus you'll also be interacting with other people that have high visibility projects making high visibility impact inside your organization. And a lot of times the high visibility, high achieving A players and organization fly together, right? Birds of a feather often flock together. You've probably heard that expression. It's the same way with high achievers in an organization. So begin to work with those high achievers, high visibility players, and you'll naturally notice your own visibility for you and your team arising with it. Number five is to create your own highlight reel for the week. Now you're not gonna go out and edit a video like ESPN's highlighting the top 10 plays of the week, but there's a reason that that is a very popular thing to do, which is to, is to create these highlights of the week. Now what you can do is at the end of each week is to highlight your big three wins or achievements or contributions for the week. And you can do that for your team too. I used to do this for my boss when I worked in a certain organization and the boss really enjoyed it. In fact, he asked other people on the team to start doing the same. Now, one of the things I would do, I'd make it really short, like one to two bullets and just well, there were three bullets and within each bullet, there were one to two sentences explaining what that was. And I would forward it in a format that he could easily forward to other people inside the organization. So he's essentially advocating on my behalf, sharing those great wins for the week. And by the way, he could assemble those from his team, right, into a bigger one for him, his team. And he could also share that information out. So help your boss help you by making your wins really concise and sharing that each and every week and notice how that can make a positive impact for your visibility. So let's quickly roll through those. Number one is to clarify what great work looks like in, in, in your organization and do two steps beyond that. Don't do work for work's sake. Understand the standard and then accelerate beyond that. Number two is to solve a problem that's plaguing the office, listening for the complaining and the whining and the unhappiness, and then looking to solve that in a positive way. Number three is to quantify the impact and then actually present it. If you're doing work and you don't know what the financial impact is, take the time to quantify it and share it. Number four is to proactively request an assignment to a project that's already high profile and high visibility. Number five is to create your own highlight reel for the week, just your top two or three bullets, your achievements or contributions for you and your team and share that with your boss in a way that he or she can easily forward out and share beyond that so they can advocate on your behalf. Now, for more tips and strategies to get more visibility, make sure you stick around for the next video because I'm gonna be going in deeper and sharing additional strategies, including the beliefs that hold us back from gaining more visibility in the organization and the biggest mistakes that people make.